on the design, it's very clear that the wing is 61 meter wingspan. Okay, this is the theory. When you get in the factory where the wing is built, you see the spar that goes from one end to the other end of the factory. And you think, wow, that's really big. And then you realize that it's only 40 meters and that the wings will be 20 additional meters. And then you think, wow, we're maybe completely crazy to do that. An airplane so big that weighs like a little car. To manufacture this, uh, this airplane, we needed someone who had the technology, who had the flexibility, the know-how to be able to manufacture parts of 20 meters long with a thickness of carbon sheet of less than half a millimeter. We looked obviously for airplane manufacturers, but they didn't have the technology, they didn't have the know-how, and certainly they didn't have the flexibility neither, in fact, to explore completely new domains. And we found a company who comes from a very different domains. They have produced high performance boats and no experience in airplane, but are very innovative, very curious, very flexible, very entrepreneurial. Today, Decision manufacture all the big parts of this airplane. The fuselage, which is a tubular structure, and the main beams of the, the wings. The airplane is going to, to fly and uh, will be extremely resistant in the air. But the weak points is the handling on the ground during constructions, but also then during the operations. <laughs>